thinking about and focusing on the things that you want that you don't have, it it can make you angry. It can make you upset. And maybe that can be a beneficial thing. Maybe that can be a motivator. But if it's not, if it's something that's actually quite destructive and it's causing issues, right, then maybe you can focus on the th wanting the things that you already do have, right? If you focus on wanting the things that you already have, then for one, that's enjoyable. You're going to feel more enjoyment out of life. Two, you're going to be able to start to notice the things that you actually care about. You're going to notice the things that you really value. And you're going to get to know yourself and get to know your heart and form a relationship with yourself through doing that, right? It's like, imagine if you have some clothes that you really like you already have it focus on wanting that actually sit with it and think sit with the the desire you have for the thing you already have instead of wanting more instead of wanting something else because when you want something else that's going to make you upset and if it's not beneficial for you to be upset and be motivated to go get that thing if that might cause issues or be an unnecessary liability onto your life then maybe focus on one of the things you already do have because doing that is not pointless it actually helps you form that relationship with yourself and it helps attune your sight to see more things like those things that you already value you are folks you are focused in on that gratitude and that gratitude will allow you to notice more things like that better things like that right Instead of focusing in on these things that you don't have or you can't have, maybe, right? You're going to start seeing the things that you want and that are for you that are already coming into view, that are that are there, that that are there for you. And you're going to start, you can start taking steps like these things are like stepping stones taking you further and further down this path that's already lined up for you. That's what can happen if you lean more into that gratitude. So maybe it's good sometimes to not be grateful and to be a bit angry. You know, I let that motivate you. But maybe sometimes you need to really lean into that gratitude and you'd be amazed how much that gratitude can actually lead you to have things in your life that you want that maybe you don't even know you want right now because you haven't been focusing on wanting the things that are already in your life that are for you that are available to you right now